Hello everyone and welcome back to Hairy Boy Attacks Van with Tools. This is episode 6, uh, which is finishing the wall framing and framing the bulkhead, which is one of those things that a lot of van builds don't do because they take out the bulkhead. So maybe if you're a weirdo like me, you might be interested in this because you kept a bulkhead. The first thing, which is quite small, was just adding vertical supports to the upper parts of the walls. Now, I don't know really if these were necessary, but they didn't take very long, were relatively simple, so it's kind of an easy win. And I just used offcuts of the floor cladding floorboard that I used. Uh, I like layered up a few of those, and because I had sort of like two pieces of wood that, that weren't quite flush with one another, I could screw kind of in a bit of an angle and just kind of screw in and use some of the glue, the pseudo fix all turbo again. Turbo, turbly furbles. Turbo, turbo wubble wubble wobbles. Um, the pseudo fix all turbo, my adhesive of choice, and what will be used to stick everything to everything. Yeah, I just I just used that again and kind of like wedged some blocks in and did some bits and bobs. And I don't really expect that bit to be holding much weight. I just kind of wanted more places to screw into. I I don't know if it was necessary. We we will see. Uh, but the 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 much more interesting part was doing the bulkhead. That was probably the bit that sort of pushed my woodworking skills. A little bit further, had a little bit more to do. Um, it was a bit of a challenge. I kind of had to. There's only there's like a couple of these sort of braces sticking out of the bulkhead that sort of were obvious places to put wood, but they're at a weird angle. So I kind of put a really thin bit of batten in first, and then ply on top of that. And I had to use ply with batten then stuck to it because the screws that I had were too short to get through any of my batten and get into the the van properly. So um, that's what I did. Took a little bit of faffing about. Um, I was able to get some recording of this actually, so we can do some speedy, speedy time lapse stuff to see what I actually did. I promise that I'm not just trying to make you look at my ass, but there is a lot of that. And uh, now I've got a tripod that's going to be even more, which is why we have the flashy new camera angle. Look at all this amazing stuff in my background, like files and. Toilet? No. Kitchen roll. Um, yeah, it's not one of those super clean, like, I'm a YouTuber, look at my wonderful bookshelf, it's covered with lovely things. We're not going to have one of those for quite some time, maybe when I'm in the van, that'll be quite nice, maybe. For now, this is what you get. Because of the light from the window. This is just nonsense. So I stuck the middle one in first. Attached, attached, attached the batten first, then the ply kind of over the batten. It's roughly flat. I don't know. I haven't put a level on it or anything, but it was a lot better than it was before. Uh, and then on top of that, I kind of put, I created like a channel with two battens. It's like the 20 mil by 45 mil stuff uh, for, to get my conduit because there's two bits of conduit coming to here because this is where my desk is going to be. So. I decided I would put two 12 volt sockets there and two USB sockets. And that doesn't quite feel enough to justify two bits of conduit, but there you go, that, that's what it is. I'm pretty sure that is everything I'm putting there. There will of course be AC plugs too, but I wasn't, I'm not really sure whether I'm gonna run them through the walls or not. I might run them just round the sides, behind the scenes, behind the back of the cabinets and whatnot. So after doing that, I did the upper parts. So stuck some ply across the top and then sort of joined up the middle and then stuck some batten on top of that. I think that was off cuts from me cutting down some of the three by two that I had left over. Uh, I choose, chose that because it's super sturdy and that, the reason I'm putting supports there is because they will be where my speaker stands go. Now my speakers aren't that big or heavy, um, so it's kind of overkill from that perspective, but it was the wood I had, it fit to kind of be the right level for everything else. And I was actually really running out of wood at this point. Um, most of the wood I bought last time, in fact, I think all of the wood I bought last time, except for the plywood, got used for completely different things that I intended to buy it for. So, but I still managed to use it all because you just, you just use it, I guess. It just sort of disappears. So those fit quite nicely and it all looks pretty nice. But I only screwed it initially with the intention to then take it apart and glue it and sort of give it a few more screws wherever needed to kind of get it really solid. And when I took it apart and put it back together again, it just didn't, it didn't go back together nicely at all. You can see in the sort of before and after from the video that 
it was quite straight and quite nice. And then I went and took it apart and put them back together. And I put all the screws in the same places, I swear. But it's just all wonky when I put it back together with the glue on. I, I mean, I'm sure the glue does affect it because, you know, the glue is not, it doesn't have uh, no mass. It doesn't have no volume. It does take up space, move things around a little bit, but it really just messed everything up. And I was really struggling to get things attached. And it, it was a bit of a fight, to be honest, to get it, to get it all in and playing nice. But I did get there and I stuck little bits on the end and then attached another bit of ply on the kind of bottom strutty supporty thing that sticks out with a, a bit of batten that my mum gave me that she just kind of had lying around. And that was all pretty good. That went fine. I think it was the next day. Well, I was I was going to add more vertical sports. I kind of felt like I needed them, although I didn't really know why I needed them. I just kind of felt like I needed them. But I wasn't, you know, I wasn't 100% convinced on that. So I sort of decided to only try and do them in the places where I, I knew that there was purpose. And that was basically on the sort of foot end of my bed, which is the passenger side, the, the side of the sliding door. I knew I was going to have a TV stand, a TV. I've already got a 12 volt TV to hang off that wall. And I knew I was probably going to want some kind of guitar stand. Or well, that's kind of where I'm thinking I'm going to store my guitar, although I haven't figured out how to do that at all yet. So for those two panels in the verticals, I thought, well, you know, I'll try and put some wood here to give me a bit more of something to screw into. So I've got slightly more options. I started with one at the bed end and the idea was kind of to, to take some wood and, and notch it to kind of create a support, be able to screw that in sort of through the grain rather than into the end. So it was, you know, reasonably strong from both sides. And I sort of did everything right up until right at the end when I just didn't, I just, I just put the block at the wrong angle instead of putting it behind the bit of wood that I was putting on top, I put it on top of it. So it didn't really do anything. And when I ended up trying to screw everything together, I was screwing into the end grain and just split the wood. I just made a total mess of everything. Um, and then in a sort of like rush job after that, I realized that I could just sort of stick a bit of wood over the top. So it kind of come down from the higher support and then go on top of the lower support. And I mean, that fit quite well but it lost me precious space and I've been trying to design everything around giving myself as much space as physically possible for the bed. So yeah, I kind of did it and then I was like, mm, I don't, I don't think this is a very good idea. But by the time I really realized that I thought it was a bad idea, the glue had already set and there was no getting it off without cutting it off. So I left it there for now or, you know, for then, but I did cut it off later. I only just left the top little bit to give myself slightly more to screw into, but generally speaking, pretty much a disaster. And honestly, I don't even think there was any real reason to do it. I did it correctly for the one where I expect the guitar stand will be. And I've left that there because it's not really causing any harm, but you know, it's not great. It's not giving me that much more wood to screw into. And I, that whole process kind of made me decide that I don't really need to do that for everywhere else. If I really need more places to screw something into, I can build a frame on top of the wall that does screw in securely to the sports I've got behind. Cause they're so strong and so secure that, you know, if I put a, a strong frame on top of it, that's that will be more than enough for whatever I need. And I might not even need it. So, you know, a day of kind of flailing and failing and feeling like I'm spinning my wheels, at least it led to making a decision to do a lot less work. And it's always great when you can make a decision to just not do work, just decide something that's is totally unnecessary. Like that's a win. That's obviously better than having got more done really, because I wouldn't have got all of it done that day. So yeah, you know, largely speaking, fairly successful. And so, yeah, that kind of takes me to the end of, of what I'm covering in this video. Relatively short and simple one. I've got a decent amount of footage of me actually doing the things, which is kind of nice. And there will be a lot more from this point on because in the next video, which is the solar panels, I actually receive my tripod, my little Joby Gorilla Pod for mobile, which is what I'm using to record this. And I do rather like it. So there should be more footage of me actually doing stuff. I don't know whether that's... Doesn't matter where I put this thing, it's always just there. If I want to move my arms around, I'm just going to whack it. Yeah, there will be more video of me doing stuff. Next is going to be the solar panel install after I go out for a little expedition to get wood, which actually turned out to really take the piss because the wood yard didn't have what I wanted. B and Q were totally out of wood, so I had to go to three different places to get what I needed. That was fun and 
definitely took an entire afternoon. Um, but yeah, uh, as a YouTuber, apparently now I am obliged to tell you to like and subscribe if you like this. And we will be seeing you on the flippity floppity flap side. Oh. I don't know, man, sue me.